this is Coach Snow with CrossFit Iron Haven. I'm here to talk about the proper hang position when you're doing a snatch or a clean. Now, I recently saw a video on Instagram where the coach recommended that when you're in the hang position, your knees actually bend forward so that you're more upright. And what that does is it allows the bar path to go a lot straighter. Because when you're in the hang position and your knees are back and they're straighter, then the only way for your hips to go is forward. Now, I'm gonna debunk a few myths here because it depends on where your foot pressure is and then also how your upper body is positioned in order to allow that bar path to go straight. If you look at a lot of really good Olympic weightlifters, you'll notice that when the bar is at or just above the knees, that their shins are actually pretty vertical or they're pretty straight up and down. The reason for this is when your legs are straighter, your hamstrings and your posterior chain are elongated and stretched. When you are more upright and your knees are more bent, your hamstrings are shorter. And if we think of power as being the contraction of a muscle from long to short, then if the muscle starts longer and then it shortens, the bigger the contraction, the more power you're gonna get. If you were to think of your posterior chain, your hamstrings and glutes as a long rubber band, if you were to just bend your knees and be more upright in that hang position, that band is going to be shorter than if you were to have your knees back. So notice when I fold and hinge over more, that the band is longer. And then when I actually jump, that band is going to shorten. Now where people run into a big issue with the knees um, a little bit more back with the shins vertical is the weight pressure of the foot. So often if someone were to bend their knees back like this, you might notice that the weight starts to shift into the heels and not staying through the midfoot. And this is where that forward backward thrust motion will happen because someone is transferring their weight from the heel to the toes or to the ball of foot through the lift. And what we want to think about is applying the foot pressure evenly, as flat as possible. So it is very possible to still have those knees back, but maintain that even foot pressure behind the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel as you are in that hinge position. And what it does is it places a lot more stretch on the hamstrings, but you keep your chest over and you're going to stay in balance versus rocking back on the heels. You'll notice in these two demonstrations where I jump starting from a squatted position versus a hinge over position, that the hinging over style actually gives me a little bit more height because I am able to contract that backside a lot more effectively. So for example, if I were to bend the knees forward like this and be in an upright more squat position, I'm keeping my foot flat. And so I'm able to drive with that flat foot pressure into that snatch. However, if I were to send the knees back and hamstrings back, and think about my foot pressure staying even. So foot pressure, constant, knees are back. I can get more power being more over the bar in extension. If you find yourself having trouble staying over and keeping those knees back, it just could mean that you might need to train your hamstrings and your glutes a little bit more. They're probably not as strong as your quads, which we tend to use a lot more often. So practicing exercises that are more hinge focused, that are more backside dominant, will help you stay over the bar. Secondly, a lot of people tend to squeeze back too much with their upper body, thinking that they really have to drive the shoulders back in order to keep the bar close. And this actually causes that forward backward thrust motion because if your shoulders and shoulder blades start tight, then they have nowhere to go when you're gonna drive overhead. If you start your shoulders tucked back that proud chest, and your, your lats are already tight, that bar is going to go forward on you versus if you were to have your shoulder blades looser and elbows out, then you have contraction and tightness and your arms are more likely to act like big cables rather than being tense. When the arms are tense, they're gonna wanna swing away because they're not able to bend fluidly when you turn over the bar. So in conclusion, knees back is going to give you more power if you apply that foot pressure evenly through the drive, and if your upper body is loose enough through the turnover of the snatch so that the bar doesn't go away from you.